In this video, we're going to talk about how to name acids. We won't get into what acids are in this video, but there is another video you can watch to learn about acids and the different definitions. We're just going to talk about naming acids here, and there are three different ways to name acids. You can see these three examples here. The first one, hydrochloric acid, is the compound HCl. And the second type of name, you can see these acids end in O-U-S. This acid, nitrous acid, would look like this, HNO2. And then nitric acid, these acids end in ic, and nitrous acid, nitric acid looks like this, HNO3. So those are the three different versions of names here. We have some that start with hydro and in ic, OUS, and then the third one there, ic. Let's look at how these different types of names come to be. It really all comes down to what the uh, anion is going to end in with its name. If I look at each one of these, they all begin with hydrogen. So you can see they all start here with hydrogen. And so the really important thing with an acid is not the hydrogen because that is told to us that there's hydrogen there with the word acid. What's important here is going to be the anion. And so these are ionic compounds where hydrogen is a cation. We have the H plus ion. So each of those hydrogens is the H plus. And then we have some sort of anion, which is this thing right here. It has a negative charge. And what we have to do is look at the name of the anion. And that's going to tell us which of these three naming methods we're going to use. So this is a list of what's called polyatomic ions, and there's a whole bunch of them here. It's a huge list. Now, maybe your chemistry teacher lets you use a list like this, or maybe your chemistry tech, uh, teacher makes you memorize them. But either way, we can look at some trends here. Uh, and if you look at the different names, we can see that some end in 8, some, some of them end in ite, and some of them end in ide. Now, we can also have monatomic anions. The monatomic ions are just single atoms on the periodic table that would become anions. So, for example, fluorine would get a negative charge, and we call that fluoride. And so any of the uh, atoms, monatomic ones, that just come straight from the periodic table would end in ide. And so those are our three different versions of anions. So the name of the acid is completely based on that ending, ide, ate, or ite. So let's look at the three rules. So these are the rules that we have to remember. There's three of them. We can start with the first one here. It says if the anion ends in ide, so that's any of the monatomic ions and then a few of the polyatomic ions, we're going to add the prefix hydro right on to the beginning of the name of the anion, and then we'll change the ending of the anion to ic. So we'll add the suffix ic. This is what that would look like if we look at... Uh, HCl, for example, the anion here is chloride, and so we'll add the prefix hydro right onto the beginning of the anion, and then I'm going to change the ending from ide, and I'm just going to change that to ic, and then I'll just put in the word acid. So that's the first rule. Here's the second one. If the anion ends in ite, we're going to add the suffix o-u-s. And so here's what this one will look like. All right, so this one has the anion uh, nitrite, and maybe you've memorized these polyatomic ions, or maybe you have to look at the list, which I have to do sometimes. Here's nitrite right here, it's NO2. And so this is called nitrite. And so we're going to just change the ending from ite to OUS. And this becomes nitrous. We'll just add the word acid. And then here's the last rule. If the anion ends in 8, we're going to add the suffix ic, I C. And so, for example, we have HNO3. And this anion is called nitrate. 
And so we're going to remove the ending here of 8, and we're going to change that to ick. And we'll add the word acid. I've heard a lot of people use the little saying, just to remember the difference here, um, that I ate something icky in the cafeteria. So I ate something icky in the cafeteria, and that helps to differentiate between the it and the ate versions. This one's usually kind of easy to remember, the eyed, because um, it's usually monatomic, and we just add hydro and end it in ick. So there's the three different rules. If you want to try it, Take a look at these uh, four different ones. The first two, you're going to write the name, and the last two, you're going to write the formula. Go ahead and pause the video and try it. The first one's called phosphoric acid because this PO4 is phosphate, and I'm going to change it from eight to ick, so phosphoric acid. The second one here is called sulfurous acid because this right here is called sulfite. So I'm going to change it from ite to O-U-S, so sulfurous. And then we have our names, turning them into uh, formulas here. So this one, hydrofluoric acid. I know that it's going to be an anion that ends in ide, and usually it's going to be monatomic. This is fluor. I would just change this ending to ide, so the fluoride ion, which is F and it has a negative charge. It's going to combine, they're always going to combine with hydrogen, which has a positive charge. We need to balance those charges, so I only need one of each ion to do that. And then the last one there is called sulfuric acid. I know if it's ending in ick, that means originally the anion was ending in eight. And so sulfate is SO4. And that has a 2 minus charge. And then I'm going to add H's. Since the H has a plus 1 and this has a 2 minus, I'm going to need two H's to balance that out. And so I end up with the formula H2SO4. And so that is how to name acids.